we are spirits who live in a body and we have a soul and we've learned that according to the scriptures the flesh is our human nature without the influence of the holy spirit so the question is are we letting the flesh control our mouth or are we letting the spirit control our mouths our soul is our thinker our chooser our decision maker and that's why we renew our minds which is in our soulless realm we renew our minds with the word of god so as we continue to get our soul our way of thinking adjusted according to the word of god by spending more time in it by spending more time in his word by spending more time in prayer by spending more time in meditation on what god says we should and shouldn't do where we should and shouldn't go what we should and shouldn't say the stronger our soul will be leaning towards the spirit so when you're faced with a decision and the soul needs to know am i going to go with what the human nature without the holy spirit is saying or am i going to go with what the spirit is saying which is connected to the holy spirit which one am i going to go with if you've given that control of your soulless realm over to your human nature without god the decision is going to be made in your soul to speak ungodly things but if you've given your soul over to the spirit the decision is going to be made to speak godly things that's why he said a man who wins souls is wise there's a difference between witnessing and soul winning. you can witness to somebody and get them to confess christ and their spirit has been saved but it does not mean that their soul won in order for you to win someone's soul you would have to win over their way of thinking their decision making their choosing their thought process a man who can win over the way another man thinks now you see why it takes a lot of wisdom we've seen people confess christ just off of rolling up and saying well if you die you know you're going to heaven and hell and say oh i don't want to go to hell i confess jesus but when you get them to start, to start thinking about things differently and saying, I shouldn't treat this person this way. I shouldn't speak like this. I shouldn't look at this. I shouldn't look at her this way. I shouldn't look at him this way. I shouldn't respond this way. I shouldn't do these things. I should go here. I should go there. I should speak this way. I should do these things. That's when the soul is one. It's truthfully about what type of lifestyle are you living? that would call someone to say, I want to change. I want to change the way I'm living. I want to change the way I'm doing things. And when you can get a person to make that decision that they want to change to be more like Christ, then you have won their soul.